Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 11th ep episode of Boku no Kokoro no Yabayatsu. Last episode I think we started like a new school term and uh, so, you know getting new seats. I think I think that was kind of what we got last time. And we have a couple girls that are kind of being more relevant, uh, Yurine and Kankan. Uh, I know Kankan's not the other one's real name, but it's what people call her. It's it's probably going to be what I call her. So she was a lot of fun. Just had a lot of fun with her just in general. Like, there was one scene in the classroom where they were just, like, saying each other's name, like, Kan Kan Yurine. So it's, it's a lot of fun little bits with that character, for sure. And uh, Yurine, she definitely seems like she could be relevant going forward, like, as far as relationship go relationship, relationship stuff goes. But uh, we'll see. And you need to stop using my keyboard as a as a bed. Or as a pillow, please. Like, it's just, that's not going to work. Okay. So, uh, I'm talking to my cat, if that wasn't obvious. He's just... Like, parked himself underneath my monitor, and my keyboard's in front of the monitor, so he just kind of takes it as a, a natural pillow. He, he shouldn't even be there, but uh, anyway. Uh, this one probably got it. No, 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 no. Ugh. He keeps hitting the screenshot button in particular. But anyway, I'm just gonna, because after I start the recording, I'm gonna move the keyboard somewhere else, but I kind of needed to start things. But uh, but anyway, I don't really have much more to say into it, say, so let's just jump on, jump on into it and see how things go. I do want to make sure I, things are still recording properly. Yeah, the mic is still picking up, so it should all be good. So well, let us begin in three, two, one, play. And now I'll move my keyboard. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's really specific. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely some, uh... <laughs> you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad she's, uh, pa passionate about this. That's, that's cool. <laughs> Don't sound too excited, my man. Night. <laughs> so yeah, this this should be fun. <laughs> but you know, somebody cares about something a lot when they're that level of specific about when it starts. See, can I get a good picture? Yeah, basically that's my cat like right in front of me. Just because I had was on my keyboard, try trying to be on my keyboard, and that just that wasn't working. <laughs> Your what? Okay, that, that makes sense. Chief <laughs> yeah, I guess she took offense to that. He does the <laughs> uh, what he was mother. I bet you do. <laughs> He's just changing this whole thing into a much better sport. Oh, I thought I was just trying to take a peek at his penis. That's... Let's 
centipede race. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, she's such a good girl. Is he already gone? Yeah. It's like I don't I don't need to hear any money more of this. Okay, so that's why it's like a centipede, because okay, I, I get it now. It's like an advanced <laughs> three legged race, just much harder. So weird to see him go back to his old self in a fl in a flashback. <laughs> yeah, that had to hurt. Oof! Yeah, that definitely hurts. A scar to remember Yamada by. A scar you can be proud of. Okay. Suddenly feels like a Shonen protagonist battle rival. <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> okay, fist bump. There we go. The important thing is to have fun. Give me a drink machine. <laughs> Go Google it. <laughs> uh, it's such a modern problem worrying about the algorithm. That sounded like, yeah, that sounded like Yamada. <laughs> Who's looking great, by the way. <laughs> Hazukashi. <laughs> that, that, that shift. <laughs> I was about to say, like, he, he wouldn't understand. She was being considerate. Zombie apocalypse. The real concerns. Okay. <laughs> Hand touching. Hand holding. Hand dragging. Can, is she going to have to carry him the other half? I knew you could do it. Are you... Yeah, you, you, I was going to say, are you inviting me over, but... <laughs> maybe, maybe we shouldn't phrase it that way. Oh. This, uh, this, this could escalate. Interesting looking toy. Let's let's not say never. 
Oh, whoa. That's a... We, we got the money angle right there. Oh, and that angle is... Yeah, by in its own way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotta say, this is getting pretty... Getting me pretty hot and bothered. <clears throat> <laughs> He's like, I know, I know where the best spot is. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't tell me to leave. <laughs> it was a dog. He, he would never do that. <laughs> it's not as hot when he does it. No, no, no offense, man. <laughs> For, for some reason. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Salty. It's off the floor. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Just yell that confession. Oof. You don't want to drop that on your foot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, to make you food, obviously. Oh, a heart. <laughs> and look at these girls being such girls. Hmm. Ma Makoto. Oh, sure. Oh, <laughs> just scaring the poor guy. Don't worry, it's, uh, you can always remove the skin. Did you write something and then hide, then, then hide it with the headband? That's a little surprise for him later, I guess. <laughs> Adachi, okay. That sounded a little bit suggestive, at least in English. <laughs> I will not lose, lose to this guy. Ooh, Yamada, Kochimite. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, basically Yamada. That was such an odd insult. In fact, I think she more insulted Yamada than her there. <laughs> Even one not going out yet. I like how they specified that. <laughs> yeah, where am I going to find such a thing? Yamada A. <laughs> Yeah, you can't hold a Kochimita sign and then just not have people look at you. <laughs> Someone's embarrassed. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. <laughs> For cheating. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yamada, stop playing around. <laughs> oh my god, that went into a direction. <laughs> Dutch. And Dachi never breaks character. I can admire that. <laughs> You're not all dirty and tied up, all bondagey. I mean, yes. Gotta protect Yamada from you, after all. Um, a little rain is fine. Early lunch is certainly gonna be good for her, but... Calvary is the issue. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. Don't be such babies. <laughs> yeah, that's not their primary concern. <laughs> was that his foot? That was such a girly looking foot. Uh, obey, you stupid horse. Don't be a baby, Kobayashi. Kobayashiko. Come on, we got this. Don't lose to Adachi. <laughs> Just stretching more and more on my desk. Hand holding. <laughs> Gonna make him blush. Yeah, you don't know her like he does. <laughs> Tell him. My man. <laughs> Telling him that he's on a whole nother level than him. When it comes to liking Yamato. Yeah, he'd have to be stupid to not realize that. Like, everyone knows they're basically a couple now. But the guy's gotta fight the fight, you know? Ooh! In front of everyone, I mean, the rain might have uh, blocked out some of it, but yeah, that's what I was thinking. The rain probably ruined it a little, little bit, but he still said it in front of everyone. That's a big deal. Come at me, bro. Settle down, kitty. Oh no. Uh, Kyo. <laughs> Is she, that's what she wrote? Because, <laughs> yeah, if he loses the head down and exposes it. <laughs> Oof. Uh, does that mean they tied? <laughs> they both fell off. I mean, because he did get the headband, so I don't know the, exactly how the rules work. <laughs> you 
Now they're just wet and dirty on the ground. But you can't see your tears in the rain, so yeah. It's all good. <laughs> Thank God for Adachi's mother. <laughs> that Yamada face, though. Adachi's mother doesn't, doesn't get enough screen, screen time. How do? He is so dirty. You don't sound very grateful. Was that his was that the sister? Yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Rock. Oh yeah, that that was a thing, wasn't it? Is that just like one big item, <laughs> like the? Because they did mention the eggs and so eggs on a giddy. I mean that's pretty good lunch to me. I I wouldn't complain. It's a lot of food though. <laughs> I'm just saying that's amazing. Just like you, Yamato. Oh. Hello? Oh, okay, that's that's what we were implying. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's not what she was implying. I'm getting such mixed signals. <laughs> yeah, because that's a lot of food for one person. Like, I'm an American, I would still consider that a lot of food. <laughs> I'm sure hearing that made his day. <laughs> and all this enjoyment of Onigiri, because those are some big Onigiri, too, like. And there's like, what, at least half a dozen of them in that box? In addition to all the egg. <laughs> I'm gonna take another picture of my cat. It's hard because my microphone's like in the way. I guess I could just include the mic, it's no big deal. So uh yeah, that's basically my cat right now. Like with my microphone, there's a cat who's underneath my monitor, just doesn't care. <laughs> Because my keyboard is supposed to be in that spot. And looks like that is the end of the episode. Okay. So yeah, that was the 11th episode of the second season of Boku no Kokoro no Yabayatsu. Definitely getting closer to the end of the show. This episode, the sports festival, was kind of our big thing. Right? And, uh, you know, not the kind of thing, not the kind of thing that Kyotaro Ishikawa, he, that he's really excited about for the most part. I got, I got a little bit of a context on that with the whole Yamada situation and the injury and all that, so, you know, I, I, I kind of get it, but Adachi made sure to make this into kind of a, kind of a big deal, because Adachi is sort of 
the rival, rival in love for Yamada, but not really. Like, it's almost like one of those, um, you know, some of those shows will have a character and then have like a self-proclaimed rival that's like trying to challenge, challenge them to challenge them to things. Kind of like, you know, Konosuba with Megamine and Yoon Yoon. Like, plenty of anime have that sort of thing. It's a little bit like that. Like, he considers himself a candidate, you know, for Yamada's affections because he likes her. But, like, not really. Like, because it's, it's not even like a love triangle where Yamada's not sure who she wants to go with. Like, 100% she's with Ish Ishikawa. Not even not even a discussion to be had there. But he doesn't, like, want to give up without fighting the good fight, which, you know, I can respect that. So he wanted to have one big final competition between the two of them so he could, like, Officially lose and give up and all that, I, I guess, was the the main point of it. But, but yeah, we had some good Yamada stuff. You know, as soon as I heard the barking, like, I knew that was Yamada. <laughs> like, I know her voice well enough to know. But, yeah, Ichikawa doing his training to get as strong as he can for the competition. Got to go over to Yamada's place, which was pretty pretty nice. You know, we got to see some good Yamada angles, for sure. <laughs> and the doggy just going underneath. Just not a care in the world, <laughs> causing Yamada trouble. <laughs> uh, that was that was a great little scene we got there. Not too much more to say about it. We had some like face drawing in the classroom, which uh, the most important part about that was writing Kyo on uh, Kit Kyo's face, right? But it would only be revealed if he lost the bandana, the headband, which he did, sadly. But you know, he he fought well. Like it was in the rain. It certainly wasn't easy, but. In the end, Adachi did get the headband. But before that, Ichiko was really cool, just like declaring just the sheer difference between him and Adachi when it comes to Yamada, like the the, the depth of their feelings. They just just Ich Ichiko is on a whole other level. So he, he made that pretty clear. So I, I really liked all that, the way he was able to proudly and loudly declare it. On top of just, like, loudly confessing to Yamada. Not everyone heard that because of the rain, but he did it, so that's a pretty big deal. And everyone pretty much knows anyway. Like, they don't really need to hear it. But in the look on Yamada's face when, when Adachi's mother is, like, taking care of Ichikawa. She was not a fan one bit. But... And the sister showed up. She didn't really do anything, I don't think. She just kind of shut up for a second. Uh, but just long enough to... What did she say to Adachi? Just, like, gakida, like, you know, calling him, like, a, a child, a brat, whatever. Like, uh, and it, which I think he got off on that. But but anyway, uh, Ichikawa got an amazing bento from Yamada. So overall, and you know, and he has Yamada as well in general. So I would consider him the real winner, no matter what. But even got to, like, feed her a little bit of it. So, so yeah, I don't think Ichikawa has anything to feel bad about, really. But, but yeah, definitely a pretty cool episode. Uh, next one is not our final episode. I'm pretty sure we have at least one more episode, because, like, 13 episodes, so... I'm kind of curious what we're going to get in our, in our next episode. And I'm also curious how uh, how the final episode is going to go, so... Only time will tell the answers, the answers to those questions, so... So, yeah... Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.